Them, them Vietnam women, them, them army men that married all the Vietnam women in the war. And I'm about to snitch on a lot of people's husbands, boyfriends, baby daddies out here. Because I don't think y'all really know what's going on, okay? Roll this, roll this footage here of a passport bro uh, crying um, over his Korean woman that he found outside of the United States. Right. My question to you is, when are you going to learn about my culture? And give you an example she's with. When is he going to learn that all women are the same? We just want your money. We want money and stability, okay? Now, what he forgot was Korea, Korean women are honestly the closest that are next to black women. The true... Oh. Um, so there's this blogger lady that fucking hates the shit out of me, and I'm gonna sue her ass. That blogger lady was Tasha K, and Cardi B did in fact sue her ass for millions and won. The suit was filed all the way back in 2019, and it all started when YouTuber Tasha K posted over 20 videos about Cardi B. That's fan behavior. Tasha had over a million followers at the time and used her channel to push what the lawsuit deemed as malicious rumors. She'd do interviews with Cardi B's former friends and associates, accused her label of buying her awards, made unfounded rumors that she was a sex worker, and even made disparaging comments about Cardi B's health. Tasha K went as far as claiming Cardi B had herpes and then mocked her for it. In court, according to Billboard, the blogger admitted to knowingly publishing lies about the rapper before trying to walk back on her statements a little bit later. Barty was awarded over $4 million for damages, attorney fees, and medical expenses. Hey, what's going on, good people? In this video, we're gonna be talking about Tasha K, who has decided to make comments about Passport Bros because she is looking for anything that's trending and something that she knows people will talk about. And for some of my brothers out there who may not know who Tasha K is, she's a YouTube gossip lady, I guess you can say, like the ghetto Whitney Williams, you know, but I said all that to let you guys know this is a lady who's willing to lie on people just to be on the internet for fame and fortune. So we're definitely going to give her the attention that she's seeking and get into it and break it down. But before we do, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. Like the video, drop a comment down below. Let's get right into it. I've heard of Passport Bros. Let me talk to the women for a second. Give me my mic. bro is it's a black man that feels rejected and insecure in america and you know they have found a way to become sexually appealing to women outside of the u.s who don't know their background the women don't know that they got five six kids and they got hella child support from from the day they were fucking born you know what I'm saying? They daddy child support rolled into their child support. They're out of shape. See how once again she is putting false information out there about these particular men? That's a false statement right there. There are passport restrictions. A lot of men who owe a large amount of child support, the state courts are gonna block his passport. Their background. The women don't know that they got five, six kids and they got hella child support from from the day they were fucking born. You know what I'm saying? They daddy child support rolled into their child support. They're out of shape, un uncreative, unsuccessful. It reminds you of them up because they married all them, them, them Vietnam women, them, them army men that married all the Vietnam women in the war. And I'm about to snitch on a lot of people's husbands, boyfriends, baby daddies out here. Because I don't think y'all really know what the f going on, okay? Roll this, roll this footage here of a passport bro uh, crying. Um, over his Korean woman that he found outside of the United States. Right. My question to you is, when are you going to learn Sorry. about my culture? And give you an example. You call me fat and ugly in front of people. Asshole. What? I said you were ugly, you were very bad. You really said that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. In my culture... In America, that's rude, that's disrespectful, especially when a woman says that about the man that she's with. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes um, uh, I get in with um, my kid, uh, my friend, or you are play, you ding ding kum kum. And we, in Vietnam, my culture is uh, not for um, a rude. It's, a, it's an attack because we're not light or whatever it may be. 
I'm already a spectacle. I'm a black man in this country. And look too, guys, I'm gonna tell you, I think the producers of that show, 90 Day Fiance, they always purposely try to go find the most unattractive black man that they can find. There are plenty of average, regular passport men that are out there that they can put on their show. I learned to do nails from uh, my ex-girlfriend. She was my high school sweetheart. We dated for 13 years, and when we broke up, I was heartbroken. But still a hopeless romantic. It's very important for me to have somebody that's my soulmate. What's going on? But they purposely go find the most unaware simp men they can find. And I'm telling you guys, 90 Day Fiance got an agenda when it comes to talking about the men that's going overseas. So forget that show. 90 Day Fiance don't represent passport men. Now, mind you, this is 90 Day Fiance. Flew all the way from New York, all over Europe, went all the way to Korea to be called the same shit he was called in the United States of America. When is he gonna learn that all women are the same? We just want your money. We want money and stability, okay? Now, what he forgot was Korea, Korean women are honestly the closest that are next to black women. You got your nails done by a Korean woman. And she cussed out the bitch before you got there because she didn't like her nails. Well, I don't care. You don't lie. You pay. Bitch, you pay. They will cuss you the fuck out. And then you on TV crying, talking about that's disrespectful and I'm cold. No, it's not. Black women been calling you fat, ugly your whole motherfucking life. That's why you left and went over there. Now, we know this lady Tasha K is a hot mess, but, but the funny part about this is, is that she's an actual passport sis. Her husband is from Africa. How dare she get on here and talk about these men? And I'm at this point, I'm like, man, where's her African husband at? Like, he need to get control of this woman and put his foot down. This woman has already put this man $4 million in debt. Like, and this dude just be letting her run him up. He act like he ain't got no type of spine to get this woman to shut up and talk about something else. She's a married woman. Why is she talking about passport bros? Damn, man, I'm really getting tired of the overweight pot belly women talking trash about passport men. And this is just another example how the passport bro movement is blowing up to the point where we got more and more celebrities and fake celebrities like this lady here talking about passport men. So even though she talking negative right now, that's still a win in my book. The movement is steady growing momentum. I'm going to close this video out right here. If you want to see more content, be sure to follow me on Dating Right Live. Make sure you hit that subscribe button like you hit on your favorite IG model. Like the video, drop a comment down below. Now we'll see you in the next video.